Hi everybody, it's Eugene Lee Show, and today I'd like to show you a little bit about some new features we have in CloudStimax. It's our new beta, it's 1.1 1 .1, uh, build number 8, and one of the features in particular that I'd like to show is the spline creation tool, which creates a uh, spline based on a slice of a point cloud, which I think is really, really interesting. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center my point cloud here, and I'm going to go into the helpers tab. And in the drop down menu at the bottom is Cloud Simax, and hit on this edit box. And I'm just going to click and drag and create this box. And I'm also going to scale it so that it uh, covers the length of the car. And it's a little slow here, the uh, response, because I'm doing this with the screen rendering tool, so it's not, uh, it's not actually rotating very well here for me. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this cover about the thickness of the car. And also from the top down, I'm going to scale it to a very narrow band something like this. I'm going to go up. Okay, so something like this. You'll see that this car is, is crushed on one side. Um, I'm going to rotate this just a little bit like that. And then I might even make this a little bit more narrow. I'm just going to go to local mode here. Yeah. And just narrow it down. Okay, so now we've got a nice thin band going across the car. And with the edit, uh, this edit box selected, I'm going to hit 2. That goes to the modify tab. And what I can do is just use the defaults and hit Create Spline from Selection. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to create the spline. And what I will show you here in a second is if I shut off the point cloud, is that I've created a spline that wraps around the vehicle and it shows me the crush. So if I go to a top-down view, I've got a crush profile for this particular vehicle. And this method could be used in rooms or buildings, and you just slice the whole point cloud and then have it create splines for you, uh, which I think is really, really useful. Um, another thing that we've added in here, which I think is uh, can be helpful, let's say you didn't like that particular uh, spline or that particular location, uh, what you can do is move the edit box, so long as you didn't change anything, just move it up or down, let's say I move it down a little bit, and I can hit update spline, and what it'll do is it'll delete the old spline and then add in a new one, and if I go in and I hide the point cloud again, like that, you'll see that I've got a new section here. So really really useful feature I think it's going to save a lot of time for a lot of different applications um, just please note that you have to convert the point cloud to C2M format uh, when you do that uh, that could change in the in the beta later on but at the moment that's how it's working so yeah hopefully you enjoyed that thank you